Hi everyone and welcome to another video for Agricultural Engineering 213. So today we're just going to pick up where we left off in the previous video. And we were busy calculating uh, drainage spacing. So you've got a field and you're installing a grid drain and you want to calculate how far you need to um, space these drains out from one another. So if we look at this as a field, then um, this is your main line and then you want to calculate how far should you space all of these drains that go from your main line how far must they be spaced from one another so that distance is l and that's the one that we calculated in the previous video so today we're going to do the same thing um, and we're just going to change some values and then we're going to add an extra part to this calculation. So this is the one that we did in the previous video. Now in this uh, new example, we get some different information. So it says a vineyard with a drainage factor of 12 millimeters per day. So that means Q equals 12 millimeters per day. And determine the branch drain spacing. And so another bit of information that we get is that the a main drain is 600 meters long so that means this distance this is 600 meters okay so that's the um, distance of this main drain so that's the extra bit of information that we didn't have in the previous one but we look at um, at this picture so this is the new example and we can see um, we get this distance and that distance as we said in the previous one is not H it's um, B and H will be B minus A and so B now is this two meters and what will A be so A is uh, the depth of the roots plus 300 millimeters so in this one it says that we are dealing with the vineyard. So go back to this table that gives us the plant roots and depth, and we see it's 0 0.05 meters. That's how deep um, your roots for grapes get. So we take that 0 0.75 and we plus 300 millimeters, so 0 0.3. And that is how you will calculate the value for H. Okay, so it is 0, 0,95. That is your value, meters, for H. Then other values that you get is this distance underneath your drain, D. That is 0, 0,75 meters. So that's another very important one. And then the other value that you need is K1 and K2. So in the previous example, K1 and K2 was given to you on the, on the sketch. So you could see K1 over there and K1 right there. In this example, uh, those two values aren't given to you, but something else is given to you. And that is that they tell you what kind of soil it is so a light loam and a fine loamy sand so you know that by now uh, and at the back of all of your exam papers and test papers you will get a table like this so that's how it looks and it says here your permeability and this is different kinds of soil so on this sketch you can see light loam is k1 and then on the table at the back of your paper um, you will go and you'll go and look for light loam so that's over there and you see k1 is 1.2 meters per day k2 fine loamy sand so uh, fine loamy sand is over there and that is 2 meters per day so now you have K1 and you've calculated K2. And that is everything you need. So we said last time 
This is the paper that you need that's going to be at the back of your exam or test paper. And you've got these two values, these two formulas that you are going to need. So you'll write down 8K2H divided by Q. And on the other hand, it's 4K1 multiplied by H squared on Q. So those are the two formulas given to you, this one and that one. And those are the two that you are going to need. So the values that you put in is you've got that 8. So it's 8 times K2, which is 2 times H, which is over there at 0 0.95 divided by Q. And Q was one of the first things that we got. It's that 12 millimeters per day. So it's 0 0.012. And then the other one is 4 times K1. So K1 we get from there. It's at 1.2 multiplied by h 0 0.95 squared divided by q which is 0 0.012 and that is how you calculate everything you need on this table or the this graph so your two answers that you will get if i can go to this page is 1000 266,7 on the one hand and 361 on the other one. And um, now you go back to this graph and you will see that this bar doesn't go past 400. So you will just move on to this one. And this is where you will find your values. So like I explained last time, um this the vertical lines they are this distance underneath your drain so that distance is d and it's 0 0.75 so what you are going to do now is you're going to go and mark 1266 on on this side and you're going to mark that 360 uh, 61 you're going to mark it over there and then you're going to draw a line from that 1266 straight down to 361 so you're going to draw a straight line and then you're going to look at where does it cross this vertical 0 0.75 line and uh, here's a photo to show so you took that spot and that spot and you draw a perfect straight line and then that 0 0.75, which is the space underneath your uh, drain, that's the one that you follow down and wherever he crosses the, um, the vertical line, that is where you will mark, will make a mark on your line. Now L is these, um, these horizontal or diagonal lines. And you can see that this mark that you made, it's perfectly between 35 and 40. So you know now that you will either um, you will either space your drain 35 meters apart or you are going to space it 40 meters apart. So now you need to um, decide how you are going to calculate that. And if you want to be exactly precise, it's going to be 37,14 meters. But for this case, you only need to say 35 meters and so the next question is going to be so this was the first one we did the bronze strain spacing and we said we can make that 35 meters so that's the answer now the next question is determine the number of bronze strains and final spacing if the main drain is 600 meters long so what does this question say? We know that the spacing is 35 meters. That's how far we're going to space these lateral drains from each other. And the question says that this main line is 600 meters long. So the question then is how many of these lateral lines are you going to put into your field? And so that's very simple. You're going to take your 600 meters. Okay, so that value. 
and you're going to divide it by your 35 meters which is the space between the different lateral lines and then you're going to multiply this by 2 because you've got this one side and you've got the other side so you do that both sides you will then multiply that by 2 and that will give you the amount of lateral drains that you're going to put in in your field so just to so show you something similar that is how it's going to look okay so next couple of questions um, is by using these formulas that's how you will usually end off this question so in a test or exam this first part will be number one this will be question number two and then question number three is going to be the next one so um, you are going to use three of these formulas so you'll um, mostly use this one this one and this one these last three are the ones that you are going to use and um, it's going to be with calculations as regards to the physical drains that you're going to install so um, the next question usually is uh, if all the branch drains so all these drains are 785 meters long determine the diameter of the branch strands if they are installed at the slope of 0.5 percent so you are going to use this formula and what does this formula say it is d so that's the diameter of the pipe okay l which is the spacing of these drains from each other x which is this distance and they said in the question is 785 meters so that's how long this drain is um, and then the slope is 0.75 percent so that's the slope at which your water will run down so we're looking at this uh, formula d and l then is your drain spacing and for continuity let's just use this one 35,3 your next one is going to be uh, x so if you look at the formula again uh, sorry that x and x is this distance of your lateral pipe so that is 785 then multiplied by q and q we know because uh, that's that 12 millimeters per day so 0 0.012 um, then n so how do we calculate n n is the pipe coarseness factor so how, how that is calculated is you can imagine that every single drain and different materials that you use for a drain um, will have friction when the water moves through it so to make sure that for every kind of material maybe if a coarse material then there will be more friction so that's just the the coarseness factor of the pipe and the coarseness for the water moving through the field and it says uh, the drain installed is upvc so at the back of your test or exam papers you will always get something like this and there you can see upvc at the top your coarseness factor is 0 0.088 so that in you will put in that 0 0.088 or 0 0.008 okay then the bottom is um, of this formula the bottom percentage s so that's just the percentage of the slope which is 0 0.5 multiplied by 26,93 multiplied by 10 to the power of 2 and then everything of this you put to the power of 3 on 8 okay so that's a very big formula but um, that is everything you need and so the answer if you calculated all of that will be 0 0.09 to four meters now different kinds of pipes only come in different kinds of sizes 
and uh, we'll maybe look at that in the next video more because there's but uh, you can only choose certain size of diameter pipes and the closest one to this one is going to be 110 millimeters and we'll look at that in the next video so number four in this question is the determine the total amount of water expected per hour from the block so how much water is going to move out of your block so um, it's basically the flow rate q they they want to know so that's this formula and flow rate how much water per hour will move out of the block and that block is a times q times 416,67 and A is the area, Q the drainage factor so uh, if we look at the question again the area is going to be 300, I mean 635,3 multiplied by 785 divided by 10,000 because we are working in hectares and we want to convert our meters to hectares so multiply by q which is 0, 0.012 and then multiplied by 416,67 and that is how you will get to this answer so that's the amount of water moving out of that block per hour and then the last question calculate the flow rate uh, so use the flow rate and calculate the diameter of the main drain. Uh, so I think just for space, I'm going to write number five, which is the last one. I'm going to write it at the top. And um, the formula for that one is this one. So D equals Q times N, the root of S, 112,2 the power of three on top of eight okay so q you calculated here number four and the answer for q was that 249,36 n is that coarseness factor so the kind of material for the pipe that was used at 0, 0.008 uh, s is the slope and um, the slope was 0, 0.5 then 112,2 is a constant and then everything of this to the power of 3 on top of 8 and that'll give you 0, 0.25 meters or 250 millimeters and then why is it 280? we'll look at that in the next video but that's just the only sizes you get it in. Uh, this was a bit of a long one, but hopefully in the next one and tomorrow's one, it will be a lot easier. Thanks.